Hello, record nerds of the internet. It is that time a month again where I go through all the records that I bought and sold this month. Let's start. Six in the morning. I guess I need to first show you the records I forgot to show you last month. Because I actually bought these and I had them. I just forgot to grab them for my last video. So they are now part of this month. De La Soul, three feet high and rising, the exclusive opaque orange vinyl Walmart version. I wanted to buy this from Get On Down when it was originally put out there for sale, and I'm glad I waited because Walmart had this cheaper. I don't think you're going to find these in Walmart anymore. I just happened to show up at a Walmart on a random weekend and bam, it was sitting there and I grabbed it. So they really did an amazing job pressing this thing. So the color vinyl versions, there's a couple different colors. And so like this is the pink version. So it, so this is the orange version, not the pink version. And as you can see, it's orange on the inside. The records are obviously orange. Then the printed inner sleeves are also orange. And then it came with this, call this the comic insert. I actually got two of these in mine. So that's fun. And then here's another record I bought last month and forgot about. This is a compilation of different Go-Go -Go bands. Go-Go -Go is a sort of funk sort of offshoot from the Washington DC area. It has a lot of... And it has a lot of Go-Go um, -Go bands from the DC area. This band Trouble Funk, the very last Minor Threat show. Minor Threat played with Trouble Funk of all bands. How cool is that? All right, now we can get into what I actually bought this month. We'll start with a Record Store Day release. Fool this man! No! Now, if you've watched my Record Store Day video, I said I wasn't going to buy any. But I bought this, because I didn't want to live without this. If I missed this, I would be sad. Oh, speaking of which, so in my Record Store Day video, I showed records that looked like this, that were still in the sleeve. And people were like, why aren't you opening your records? How do you listen to records? Hey, dummies. Yeah, dummies, look, it's open. You can just take a razor blade and slice this, and then you can leave the sleeve on. You can leave the shrink wrap on. And then you can have your hype stickers and you can even leave like the price tag on so you remember what you paid for it. Anyway, that's the back. I'm sure everyone has seen this record already that is interested. And it is on this fantastic color yellow vinyl. And then I bought Moss Icon. I don't know if... Temporary Resonance is going to be reissuing all the Moss Icon stuff. They did a Moss Icon box set maybe 15 years ago that I didn't buy and I kind of regret. I was too cheap to pay $40 for three records and um, I should have. So this is on just black vinyl. It has this green heavy cardstock insert and like a download code and Temporary Residence catalog. And then finally, this month, for records I bought, picked up this Inspect the Deck Uncontrolled Substance Vinyl Me Please. So this is actually a really nice cover. It is, it's like this really nice matte finish. And then you can see how sparkly and shiny 
the writing is. Guessing that this is a gun that they've mosaicked out here. I wonder if that was mosaicked out in the original issue of this. I kind of doubt it. The inside is printed as well. And it is two records, both of which are on this baby blue colored vinyl. And that is it for records I have purchased. Let's talk about records I've sold. I've sold two of them. So speaking of Vinyl Me Please, I did a review of the Beastie Boys Check Your Head in which I had decided to go watch that video. But I had decided that the Vinyl Me Please version was so significantly better sounding than the reissue box set that I didn't really want the box set and I kind of regretted buying it. So I sold it. I put my money where my mouth is and I sold that. And I sold that for $89 on Discogs. And then also, speaking of Vinyl Me Please, when I first joined Vinyl Me Please, I forgot to do a swap one month and so I got whatever the record of the month was, which was Grimes Vision, which, I don't know, the cover was cool, and the, it was put out by 4AD, but I, you know, I listened to it on YouTube before I opened it and listened to it, and it wasn't my thing, so I sold that, probably also sold that for a loss for $29. Sure, that was a loss, but it's either that or take up space on my shelves, which I'm always lacking in space. So that's everything. I will link the Beastie Boys review there, and I'll put a video here, and I'll put a video there, and you can watch those if you want or don't. Maybe you should if you're bored. If you're watching this crap, you might as well watch some other crap. Have a good day.